Iowa Live. From the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, welcome to Iowa Live. I am Lou, and it's time to find out about something that's going on this week. And I know you're thinking to yourself, the fair's over. Now what am I going to do? Plenty of things going on, including something on Ingersoll that is good for the entire family. Lauren Koloff is joining us from an event that has really grown over the years, hasn't yeah. it, Lauren? Hi, Lou. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Yes, we are gearing up for Ingersoll Live. It's our 19th annual year. Wow. Yep, so we've been doing this party for quite some time, and it continues to get bigger and better every year, and we're excited to host it again this weekend. Okay, let's explain to everybody what Ingersoll Live is all about, because you take over the street, don't you? Yeah, it's like the best block party you've ever been to. <laughs> we take over the entire 2800 block of Ingersoll Avenue. We shut down the street on both ends and we fill it with uh, stages of live music and vendor tents, food trucks, and um, all your neighbors flood to the street for one awesome night. It really is nice. It, it kind of turns that whole Ingersoll area into a small town, doesn't it? Oh yeah, you have yeah. everything you need. You got <laughs> your food, your drink, your entertainment, something for the kids to do, some art, you can buy stuff. It's it's everything you need. Okay, let's talk about the entertainment because the entertainment is not gonna have just one stage where you stand no. in front of them and watch <laughs> things. You have a bunch of stages. How many stages do you have for entertainment? We have three stages. Three this yeah. year, wow. So we have our East stage and our West stage and those are sort of our main stages with our bigger performing acts. But then we also have something we call the community stage which is in our new artist village this year. Year. And that community stage features features um, some local youth arts oh, okay. organizations. Yeah, so think about groups like City Voices, the Be Well Foundation will have the Des Moines Playhouse there giving us a preview of their fall show. Oh, nice. Girls Rock. Oh, th yeah. they're awesome. Yes, yeah. they are awesome. They've performed at our event for several years and we love having them back every year. Yeah, a lot of fun. Now let's talk about some of the other acts. Let's go uh, about the, the West Stage. Who's yeah. going to be on the so West Stage? This year on the West Stage, we really wanted to highlight acts that gig a lot on Ingersoll Avenue. There's a lot of cool music venues on Ingersoll, um, Greenwood Lounge being right, one that people right. know a lot. So we have Ducharme Jones. Oh, they, of course they're going to be there yes. if you're talking about Greenwood. So, yep. okay. um, and the Heath Allen Band. Oh, um, he band. said he's got his, his A-list uh, crew with him this weekend <laughs> uh, to play on the West Stage. So they'll be handling the West Stage. Um, and then on the east side of the street, we are going to have the Paranderos. They are a Latin combo band full of energy. I think there's going to be a lot of people dancing oh, in the if you're not dancing, uh, you probably have your feet stapled to the yeah. pavement, okay? I've, I've heard dancing is mandatory with the Paranderos. It almost is, yeah. yeah. Yes. So they'll be dancing, and then we'll end the night with the Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. So that's a group of young guys who um, play music from the classic rock area Ro era. Uh, you're thinking like Elvis, Johnny Cash, the Beatles. They have a lot of fun. Yeah, so they'll close close the night for us on the East Stage. That is going to be great. Now let's talk about some of the, the food options and some mm -hmm. of the things for the kids because we mentioned that this is a family friendly event. It's, it's great for everybody and the price is right too. So let's talk about the food type. Uh, the food, first of all, we've got, I think, six food vendors this year, and several of them are Ingersoll businesses. Nice. So if you're familiar with Lachelle's mm -hmm. and their awesome burgers on Ingersoll, they've got what they call a battle bus. That's what they call their food truck. So all they're right. bringing the Lachelle's battle bus to the street to sling even more burgers. Um, Creme, she is going to be making her famous Moki donuts oh, really? um, for the event, like live frying them on, on the street. Uh, we'll have the Gusto Pizza truck. We'll have some Mediterranean for the kids. We have some mini donuts. Good. And let me just for the kids, for the, yeah. the, big, the big people too. Kids <laughs> and kids at heart. Yes. Uh, and then snow cones, of course. Of so. course. And you keep everybody nice and cool. Now mm -hmm. the weather looks like it's cooperating this year too. Yes, we are very happy to see some perfect summer weather in the forecast. 85 degrees and sunny. <laughs> okay. And then uh, the village that you have, the artist village, that's mm -hmm. new, right? Yeah. So we've always had art sprinkled around the event, but this year we really wanted to create area to highlight art at Ingersoll Live. So the Artist Village will be in the Wells Fargo, Fargo parking lot okay. and we'll have the community stage back there um, but we'll also have an art station with the Des Moines Art Center so kids can, they're doing painting and penance so they'll be doing a collective art piece um, that will later be donated to Broadlawn's Children's Hospital. Oh, how yeah, nice so that. they're going to be making this big collective art piece which will be really cool um, and then we'll have some live painting from an artist back there and a bunch of artist vendors who are really excited um, to engage with the crowd. So this is really an all afternoon and evening type event. Now yep. what time do things get underway? Things kick off at 3 o'clock uh, with the 
Cicerettes. Of course, the yes. Cicerettes, yep. Yeah, so if you're in the neighborhood and you forgot about Ingersoll Live, hopefully you'll hear it <laughs> at 3 yeah, o'clock. You will hear it at when, 3 o'clock. When the Cicerettes take uh, the streets, I was going to say take the stage, but they take the whole streets. Um, yeah, things kick off at 3 and we'll be partying until 10. So right. come and go. Come on down. A lot of fun. Great. Thank you so much, Ingersoll Live. It's going to be a great time. Uh, Samantha and Raina are going to be out there at all, uh, you know, yeah. introducing and welcoming uh, the crowd to various stages throughout the afternoon and evening. So uh, looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Laura. Appreciate it. Thanks, Lou. There we go. Ingersoll Live this Saturday on the 2800 block of Ingersoll. Now, what else is going on in Des Moines? Well, uh, Lauren and I, we know about Ingersoll Live, but what else is going on? Alex Wilson does. She knows everything. She's coming up next. I don't know.